What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 3.2 of the tutorial series on AWS Cloud Formation. So guys, in this tutorial, we will go through one of the intrinsic functions that is select function. So basically the intrinsic function select returns a single object from a list of objects based on the specified index. So let's say you have a list or an array and you want to pick a single value based on the index from that list or an array. So in that case, you can use the select function. So guys, let's try to understand it with an example. So here, as you can see on my screen, we have this template that is ec2 underscore select.yaml and we are going to use this template throughout this tutorial. But before we go through this template, let's have a look at the syntax of the select function. So guys, here there are two ways to define or use the select function. So the first one is to use fn colon colon select. Another is to use this short of select that is exclamation select. So we will be using this short one. So let me remove this. So the syntax is exclamation select followed by a list or an array. This list or an array accepts two parameters. The first parameter is going to be the index value and the second parameter is the list of values. So let's say we want to fetch the value at the zero index. So we will say zero as an first parameter and from where we want to fetch that value from the zero index that is the second parameter that is basically the list of values so here we will simply say a list of values that can be src cd a simple string or it could be a reference of some pseudo parameters aws colon colon stack name or it could be a reference of some logical ids so let's say exclamation ref instance Correct. So the output of this select function would be SRCE CDE because we want to select the value at the zero index and the value at the zero index is SRCE CDE. Now, in case if we change this to one, then we want to select the value at the second index. So the first index zero is SRCE CDE and the value at the second index is a reference of AWS stack name. So it's going to be the stack name that the user will enter while creating or deploying the stack. Right, so that's the high level of the select function or basically this is the syntax of the select function that you can use, right? Now the question might arise that what if we define the index value that is out of bounds? So let's say I want to fetch a value from the 10th index, but within this list, we don't have the 10th index, right? So this will result in a stack error. Now, apart from this, if we pass on or if we have any null values within this list, then again, it will result in the stack error. So guys, basically select does not check if there are null values or if the index is out of bounds in the array or list. So both condition will result in stack error. So you should be certain that index you choose is valid and that the list contains not null values. So keep these two things in mind while you use the select function. So now moving back to our template. So here, what we are doing is here, we have the parameters that is the environment. So we are allowing user to select the values from these two, that is dev and QA. And based on this environment, uh, we want to select the instance type, right? So if the user selects QA, then it should spin up t2.micro instance. And if user select dev environment, then it should spin up m1.large instance. So that's parameters basically. And on line number 11, we have defined conditions. So here we have the logical ID that is create resources. And here we are using conditional function that is exclamation equals, right? So what we are saying here is if reference of environment, so reference of environment would be the parameter that the user will select or enter. So if user select dev, then this value would be replaced by dev. And if user select QA, then this value will be replaced by QA. So we are checking if the selected environment is equal to QA or not. So that's condition. And then on line number 15, we have defined resources. And within that resources, we have a logical ID that is instance. And here we are spinning up an instance. So that's the reason we have the type as AWS EC2 instance. And within properties, we are defining instance type. Now here again, we are using conditions. That is if this condition, now this create resources is referring to a condition that we have defined on line number 12. So if the selected environment is QA, it means if this condition is true, 
then do this and if this condition is false then do this the second one right so let's say user selected the QA environment and this condition will evaluate to true so what will happen so we are checking if this condition is true so now let's assume it is true then it will do or execute this line or this element so here what we have defined is exclamation select followed by a list and the first parameter is the index value zero so we want to select the value at the zero index that is t2.micro so this will basically return t2.micro and what cloud formation will do it will spin up an instance with the t2.micro instance type now let's assume if this condition evaluates to false then the second block or this block will be executed now here what we are saying that select the first index and the first index is m1.large instance right so this is kind of an example that i wanted to show you that how we can use the select function but uh, there is a wide or variety of use cases that you can perform using the select function so this is a kind of a quick example that i wanted to show you so now let's navigate to the AWS cloud formation service and say create stack. Now here we will select template is ready. We will say upload a template file, choose a file. I will say ec2 underscore select dot yaml and say next. Now here we will enter the stack name. We will say select. Now here within parameters as we uh, discussed, we need to select the environment. So I will say dev environment for example, and we will say next next again and say create stack so now the stack has been created now if we look at the template since we have selected the dev environment this condition is going to be false correct so in this case the second block will be executed that is select one index that is m1.large so the instance type should be m1.large in this case so let's have a look so now as you can see the stack creation is completed now let's navigate to resources and click on this physical id and let's have a look at the instance type so as you can see it's m1.large correct now what we will do is let's create another stack so i'll say create stack with new resources i will say upload a template file choose a file ec2 underscore select dot yaml and we will say next give the stack name i will say select hyphen qa i will select the parameter as or environment as qa it should be hyphen say next next again and say create stack now here the instance type should be t2.micro so let's wait so now our select hyphen qa stack creation is completed now we can navigate to resources and click on this physical id so now as you can see the instance type is basically t2.micro correct so guys uh, this is how the select function works and this is how you can use it in your cloud formation templates as and when required based on the use cases but just keep two things in mind that you are not defining or using the index that are out of bounds in the array and you don't have any null values within the list of elements else it will throw an exception uh, that would be a stack error so keep that two things in mind so guys uh, that's it for this tutorial and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next